How do you blend Pilates and core work with strength and conditioning, body weight only? That's exactly what I am gonna bring you today. I love to train like this. My name's Karen, I'm from Fit School based in Essex. We love Pilates and we love strength and conditioning and it's great to put them together, but it's also really important when we do this. I'm not gonna throw you in at the deep end. I'm gonna show you lots of different progressions because when we do programs, we would take you from A to B, C, D, etc. So we're not gonna throw you everything at you and make you really sweaty and in pain. That's not what we're gonna do. That said, I need you to listen carefully as we go through the instructions today. There's gonna to be a lot of breath breathing technique and a lot of technique on how we do the exercises that might be different to what you're used to. So what you're gonna need is a mat, maybe a glass of water. I'm doing it barefoot. It's really nice for balance. Sometimes it's good to get those squats on a bare feet on a mat underneath you. So, are we ready to get going? Yeah, I can hear you cheering. Let's get going. We are gonna start, as always, with a warm up. And that means getting moving, getting mobile. So let's bring your arms out to the sides. Press your hands to the sides as if you were pushing against a wall. And then can you just let your ribs come across and find a stretch here and back to center. And we're gonna bring those ribs over to the other side. Now it is my ribs. I'm not just bending to the side. I'm sliding my ribs across. This time, I'm gonna bring my hand down, I'm gonna bring this arm up, and I'm gonna just stretch down like a windmill. And then lift up, come over to the other side. We're gonna come in, down, lift up, and down, down, down towards the side. And lift up. Then from here, I'm gonna just step and push my hand over. I'm gonna reach our backs, like to move in three different directions. We go forwards and backwards, we twist and we bend to the side and that's exactly what we've just done. So let's get the forwards and backwards. We're gonna press your hands away, pull the ribs backwards, tuck your tail under, let your head come down. So you stretch out through the back of the neck and then bring your arms in and lift up through the ribs down. Let's do that again, let your hands come forwards. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna push, lift up through the ribs. We're gonna come forwards. Let your hands come in and we're gonna push and lift up through those ribs and then come back down. Roll those shoulders and just give me a nice little twist here on the spot. Now time to get moving a little bit more. We're gonna come into a little knee here. So we lift up the knee, the knee coming up to about hip height, the hand coming behind us. We're in and we're in and we're gonna just do eight all on one side. And what I wanna do with this warm up is make sure I've got our knees and our hips warmed up, ready for the rest of the class. And we're gonna come in on the other side. Now, as you're doing this, can you stand really nice and tall? There, imagine you're in a ballet class, you're being asked to zip up. Let your knee come in, 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 in and down. And then let your feet come wide. Nice big breath in, over to one side, over to one side. Joseph Pilates, if you look at any of the archival footage of him doing Pilates, he was actually a physical training instructor in the army. So it wasn't all breathe, breathe. <laughs> there was a lot of jumping jacks and um, these kind of scissor moves just to get the body warmed up. So we're doing similar today. We're getting that heart rate up. We're coming in and in and in, coming into that twist and come back down. And then from here, I want you to let your feet come to about shoulders width apart. And we're gonna take a little squat down, letting your hands come out in front and lift up. We'll come down, we'll lift up. With knees and hips, we need to take a little bit longer getting warmed up, coming into the class and up and down. So I'm not coming down too far just yet. This gives us time to think about where our feet are. Can you feel Underneath your feet, can you feel the weight is in the ball of the foot, the outside of the little toe, and the heel. So we're trying to make sure we're not rolling in. And then I want you to feel you breathe in as you come down, and breathe out as you stand. Breathe in as you come down, and breathe out as you stand. Then let's come back to that knee. This time we're gonna change it a little. Your knee comes in, we push it back. Knee in, push back. Knee in, push back. It is a little balance challenge. And if you're really struggling with your balance, pop your trainers back on. You might find that's a little bit easier. In and in 
and in. Other side, let your knee come up for me. Lift, push, lift, push, lift. The smoother you can make it, the better your coordination. The more you do this, then you'll find, that's it, you're working that trunk just a little bit more. Back to that twist. Watch my back. Long back, not rounded back. Send that tail away. Eyes down to the floor, nice and space, lots of space in your neck. Breathe in, exhale, lift up. Breathe in, come back, exhale, lift up. If you want to, all the way down. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice I'm bending my knees a little so I can keep the back nice and long rather than collapsing forwards. Our spines like to twist on a straight spine. They won't really twist on anything else and over and back. And then back to those squats. So those feet about shoulders width apart. Let's think about the breathing a bit more this time. Breathe in as you come down. The weight is in all of your foot. And then as you breathe out, up to standing. Just imagine you've got a little balloon behind the waistband of your trousers. Breathe in as you lower down. Breathe out, the balloon comes down. Breathe in, we come down, breathe out. All the air coming out of that balloon. Breathe in lower, breathe out, lift. Notice I'm starting to come a little lower. I'm gonna reach the hands up and lift. We're gonna do two more, eight of these squats. And if you are watching this class back and doing it after the event, we're gonna to start to add on. So we add repetitions on, that's how we start to progress a program. So you might wanna start with 10. Then we're gonna just come out to the side, give me a little balance. Our bodies love to move in all different directions. So we're gonna do side, front, and up, we're gonna lay on our tummies. <laughs> not on our fingers or our heads though, not today. We thought we'd leave that one. Come back. Let's do this one last time. Watch the progression on this knee. The knee's gonna come in, it comes back. I'm gonna take a little lunge. We come in, we come back. I'm gonna lunge. Now where's the body? Upright, in, back, lunge, lift, in, back, lunge, lift, eventually, it's all one move, in, and here's a progression you could add if you're doing this again, if it's not your first time, you could push the leg out and away, let's come to the other side, should we get in that heart rate up a little bit more now, in, and back, in, and back, if you aren't a fan of lunges, or your knees aren't quite warmed up yet, a little movement is fine, I'd rather you take a little movement, and collapse, all right? We want no saggy lettuce leaf lunges here. We're in, we're down, we're in, we're down, and back, back into a twist. This time standing, come round and round and round. And then once more with those squats, those feet nice and wide. Breathe in, come on down, breathe out, lift up. Breathe in lower, I really hope my head and my feet are in this throughout because this is about as much space as I can get in my house to do this. We've had to go extreme on getting this camera up nice and high. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. One more time, in and out. So we should be a little bit warmer now. Grab yourself a drink if you need to, a little stretch through the neck. Don't forget that ankles and those wrists as well. And we're gonna start, so we're gonna start with some basic core stuff. So this is kind of hybridized Pilates with core work. Chris, my other half, the other half of Fit School teaches what we call a PE class on a Wednesday night. And these are more like the moves he would do, sandwiched with my moves. So we came up with this together for you. We're gonna start with a plank. Now I always set up a plank in Pilates like this. My eyes are down, my shoulders down away from my ears. I'm gonna breathe in. Imagine now I've got my hands around your ribs, you're breathing into my hands. Breathe out, the ribs come together. And as you breathe in, if you're wearing a sports bra, feel that your ribs press into your bra and on your out breath, they're a little more slack. And you've still got that balloon underneath the waistband of your trousers. On the out breath, all the air goes out. Then we're gonna step one foot and the other foot out behind you. Shoulders down. We're not here, 
we're not there. So take all of those things and ways you've done planks before and come and join in my plank. So that eyes are down, I've got a nice long neck. Here is option number one. We go for a little walk, okay? So my body's not moving, my trunk is strong, I'm not wiggling the hips side to side, I'm not up and down. I'm just gonna breathe in for four little steps and out for four little steps. I'm gonna breathe in for four little steps and out for four, and then come back down onto my knees. Over to my knees, I'm gonna come out to a little side plank here. So this is the position we're gonna aim for. We're opening up through the chest, the ribs are coming in. So I'm gonna start down on my hands and knees. I lift up to the side, and as I come out, again, the ribs are in. Feel the front ribs come to the back ribs. Breathe in lower. Breathe out, lift up to the side. Breathe in lower. Breathe out, lift up to the side. <clears throat> and as we do this, I will take you through some progression. So the next time through, we'll make it a little harder. And again, if you were doing this at home, after you've done it once with me, well, the first time we're doing three of these, the second time you might do four. So we just start to increase the intensity that way. Third core exercise, we come down onto the floor. And as you come down onto the mat, whoo, I'm miles away from you. We're gonna let your feet come up. Now make sure your head is comfortable. And we're gonna press those feet up to the ceiling, draw your thighs together. Feel those ribs now. Back of the t-shirt pressing down to the floor, hands down by your sides, shoulders open, and we're sending that head away. So we've got that length in the back of the neck. And again from here, imagine that balloon under the waistband of the trousers. Now, if you needed um, something underneath your bottom, if your back feels a little tight as you're doing this, sometimes, oh, hello. <laughs> sometimes, it, actually, if you're carrying a little extra weight around the tummy, it's already stretched, so you'll find these quite tricky. So just popping a little cushion under your bottom really helps. So come back to here again for me. Lovely big breath in. I want you to feel the back drops down to the floor. Now in Pilates, we try and let the back start the move. The tummy joins in. So we're gonna lift up and we're gonna scissor, breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. Then let your feet come down to the floor. We're gonna come into a bridge. So push through your feet, let your hips lift slowly back down to the floor we're going to do five push through your feet let your hips lift slowly down to the floor now breathe in breathe out as you push we're going to press into the backs of your arms breathe in lower breathe out as you push draw your thighs in towards each other and then come back down to the floor so let's go back to that first exercise now i'm only going to have time today to demonstrate all these moves Twice. So we're going to go through each twice, but you could do it a third time. So we're onto your hands and knees. Breathe in those ribs open. Draw those ribs in and up. We're going to send the feet out and away. And we're going to breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Breathe in and out. If that feels too hard, come out and in, out and in out and in then back to your hands and knees we're going to lift up to the side breathe out breathe in come back down breathe out lift up breathe in lower down but you know your option is here breathe out lift up in lower down out lift up in lower down lift the waist draw the ribs in squeeze the thighs together lower out lift up in lower down back down to your knees back over onto your backs again and as you come back down once again into this core work so just feel the ribs drop down the front ribs come in hands down by your sides those feet lift up and from here now we're going to breathe in breathe out breathe in is just a scissor pressing the ribs down opening through the shoulders Notice I'm not sending that leg miles away. I'm focusing more on this leg coming in because I want to really focus that work over the pelvis. The ribs are down, in. Feet down to the floor now, hands by your sides. Press into your hands, lift up through your hips, send that head away. 
So we feel the ribs down, all that lovely Pilates technique. And then let one leg lift up now, breathe out, lift. Inhale, lower. So this is our progression. And lift and lower. Breathe out, lift. Now what happens to this hip? We're trying to feel there is a straight line from your shoulder to your hip to your knee. So if I were to put a broomstick on this bit, it would be a straight line up. So we don't let those hips droop down to the floor and then come back up. So that is our core section. And I'm gonna suggest you do that three times through. So we're gonna come back up again from here. Let me just, uh, there we are. We're gonna come back up to the top. And from here now, we're gonna come and do our leg work. So this is our squats and our lunges. We've got a lovely little inchworm here to do as well. So let's start with our squat. Feet nice and wide, we warmed up with this, but watch the difference. I'm gonna breathe in, come down, touch the floor now. Still that weight in all of my feet. Lift those arms up, up to standing. Breathe in, come down, touch the floor. Lift your hands up, up to standing. Breathe in, come down, touch the floor. Hands up, up to standing. We're gonna do five, down and up. But you guessed it, if you're doing that afterwards, you add one on every time. End of the mat, little inchworm. We're gonna roll down towards the floor. Hands come down to your feet. We're gonna inch those hands forwards into a push-up position. I'm gonna to drop to my knees. Hands nice and wide, shoulders back. Now breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, lift up, back to my toes. Walk my hands back to my feet and roll on up to standing. Let's do that again, breathe in here. On your out breath, we come down. Breathe in, walk your hands forwards and hold. Here's your option, you knew it, down. Up, draw your tummy in, walk your hands back, slowly up to standing. You're gonna do that once more. As you come on down, hands by your toes, walk your hands forwards. Here's your option, from the knees down to the floor, roll yourself up, yeah? And then toes, walk your hands back, all the way up to standing. We're gonna have two more now, breathe in here, slowly down, walk forwards. Hold, push up, lift up, lift the tummy, walk back, roll up. One more time, we come down, hands in, inch forwards, onto your toes, push up, lift up, walk back, all the way up to standing, into our lunges. So now from here, my feet are at hips width apart, I'm going to take a step back, I'm gonna open my hip up so I'm tall through the body and let my arms come up overhead. Breathe in, my knee is hovering off the floor. Breathe out, I come up. Breathe in, the arms come up. Now, look where my body is, really straight. I'm kind of exaggerating this straight back. And I'm not launching myself off the floor. So the, the thighs work like scissors. Push through the front foot to come up. Let's try the other side, just doing five. Open that hip up, where's that breathing? Breathe in lower, breathe out lift. Breathe in down, hop the knee off the floor if you can. Breathe out lift. We come on down and lift. So there's none of this or that. We're down and lift. Come back round into your squats. We're gonna come down to the floor. Breathe in, lift up. Come down, here's another way to progress this. You could start using a two kilogram dumbbell, a couple of tins, and up, and down. We're just doing five, up, and lift. Once again, we're gonna come down, up, and lift. End of the mat, ready for the inchworms. Breathe in, come down, forwards, onto your hands, breathe in lower. Breathe out, lift, walk back, slowly roll up, up to standing. Breathe in here, breathe out, head forwards and down. Walk your hands forwards, option toe, um, knees, in, lift, toes, walk back, slowly roll up. That's two, up and forwards, hands to your feet. Walk your hands in and lower, 
and lift. Walk back, slowly roll up. We've got two. If this is two, two left. If this is too dizzy inducing for you, slow it down. Yeah, pause me and in and lift. Toes, walk back. Notice as I'm doing that push up, I'm not letting my shoulders come down to the floor. Really important when we do these, and that's why I showed you those ways to regress. We let your shoulders come back, we in, and then we walk back. And then we're slowly gonna roll up back into your lunge. We're here, feet hips width apart. Back, in, up. Breathe in, let go of that balloon. Breathe in, let go of that balloon. Breathe in and up and in and up. Other side, let your hands come up. We're lower and up and in and up and in and up. One more time, down and lift again. I've done that twice, but you can pause me and do that three times. And the last thing we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a little bit of back work. So down on the mat. This is the point of my class, my class oh, love, because they get to lie down, but not for long. Your thighs are together, your hands are out. We're gonna press in and lift up through the chest. Now I always say with this one, if this feels a little pinchy on the back, have your hands, hands further forwards or we have them in here. Just two exercises here. We're gonna send the feet out and away. We're gonna lift up through the ribs and we're gonna kick those legs, breathing in and out. Here's your option. The head stays down and we just lift one leg at a time. So we're in and we're out and we're in and we're out. Onto your forearms, your chest is open. Press into your forearms and we're gonna push in so push into all your forearms, not just your elbows, so your tummy lifts up. Then from here, here's your option. If you want to, toes and lift. Keep that neck long. Draw that tummy in. Knees down. Hands come forwards. Press in again. Let those legs lift again, your eyes down. And we're going to kick and out. Kick and out. Breathing in and down. When we're down on the floor, you still want that little sense of a, a, a lift under your tummy. So pulling your tummy away from the waistband. Back to your forearms, press to your forearms, roll up. I'm gonna show you one more little change this time if you want to. We bring the arms under, we roll up to the side, we come down, we lift up. These are just options for you. Again, if you're doing the exercise, you want to make a note of these exercises, ways that you can just progress it. Let your tail come under, hold here. My shoulders are sliding down my back and the option here, onto the toes and hold. And again, you're gonna start 10 seconds. Next time, 15. Next time, 20. Take a note. And the other thing you wanna do, if you found the lunges harder on one side than the other, make a note of that. Know which is your stronger side, which is your weaker side, and you can be able to get that balance back into your body. We're done. I'm gonna just take a little stretch here with you. Come on down, ease down. If you want more of a stretch though, I have got lots of lovely stretch sessions on my YouTube channel, so just come and find me, Pilates with Karen. Um, if you want more of the strength stuff, find us on Fit School. We've got Fit School Essex channel as well. And you can always book in for a virtual couple with us. We can uh, come and have a little chat on the phone and in. And we've got an offer if you want to head to our website, fit school forward slash 30. We've got a 30 day trial. You can um, try two classes a week, 30 pounds, 30 days. See how you like it. And you get a complete mix then of Pilates and of Mr. Lang. So we're going to bring your arms out, lift your chest up now take a big breath in and slowly come down listen that was a real whistle top whistle stop to through how i like to work out please um like and subscribe on the channel if you've got any comments 
leave them below, send me questions, I'd love to hear from you. I'm Karen, Karen Lang, that's with an I, and, and that's at Fit School, so we're on Instagram and Twitter. Please get in touch, I'm a human being, and I love more than anything to just find out from you whether you enjoyed it or what you might need a little bit of help with. But you take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I thank you for joining me.